my beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl Shalinda One. So in this video we will be t discussing the newest palette released by Anastasia which is her soft glam palette. I was actually very surprised on how many of you guys was tagging me on Instagram telling me you really wanted me to review this palette and I was really surprised because you guys know that when it comes to eyeshadows I like eyeshadow but I'm not I'm not like a crazy eyeshadow person and I only pick up palettes that really speak to me when it comes to the soft glam palette which we will show I will show you in a minute it initially didn't catch my eye it did catch more of my eye than a modern renaissance palette I don't know everyone loved that palette and for some reason I just it didn't speak to me however I did pick this up I want to say hello to all our new beautiful dreamers welcome welcome I've noticed that we've had a significant jump in numbers and I really appreciate that I know that for my channel kind of converting from all hair to bringing in more of my love which is makeup uh, is kind of a little jarring to some and those numbers and the views are not where they usually are but they have definitely been increasing and I love you guys for it so thank you for jumping on this ride with me and just embracing what I love you have no idea how much it means to me so welcome to all our new beautiful dreamers and if this is your new your first time visiting our channel then welcome 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 I would love for you to go ahead and join by hitting that subscribe button you never want to miss another video with your girl Shalanda one because just because you just don't want to miss another video as well as the, the way to do that is to make sure that you click the bell so you never miss another video by being a part of the notification squad okay guys let's get started um so this is the soft glam palette it has that same um material that little what is it velvet material as the modern renaissance as well as the subculture um, you guys still know that I still like the subculture. I have to say I didn't have a problem with the colors. I actually love the colors. I didn't have a problem with the fallout. I didn't have a bad, a lot of fallout. What I had, what I experienced was really poor formulation. Like it didn't blend well and it didn't work well within other colors within the same palette. So that was my biggest problem with the subculture palette. So once the modern renaissance, I think the modern renaissance came out after subculture don't quote me on that but I think so it was just like eh, I skip it it didn't speak to me this one kind of did one the name the name is probably what hooked me more than anything I love soft glam I don't feel like you should be glam glam even though this look is a bit extra but I don't feel like you should be overly glamorous every day I love that soft glam look so just the name alone really caught me and to open it up it does come with a mirror pretty decent mirror has the name Anastasia right there and those are the colors that's what the colors look like right there and for the most part when I first saw it it that didn't speak to me it was just like okay to me it didn't make me go oh, I have to get it I have to get it I feel like seeing it online doesn't really grab you until you see it in person. In person, it's much more intriguing. It is still, in my opinion, an everyday palette. It is a very neutral palette. If you are a real makeup enthusiast, nine times out of ten you have colors very similar to this already in your collection that's my personal opinion however there are definitely some unique colors in here this is an everyday tonight palette with 14 shades includes essential mattes and glam shimmers and it comes with this little brush that a lot of times I usually get rid of but every once in a while I do keep these and I did use them today probably the biggest concern I have is that this is gonna get dirty real quick like I'm like trying not to touch it because this is gonna get filthy these colors are definitely pigmented and do show up on dark skin as you can see um, I would say that they all work well together which is probably the biggest thing I was looking for out of this palette it's not the fallout I don't really care about that I don't I just I just don't as long as it's not I don't touch it and it completely falls to the ground I don't care what I care about is how well do they blend how well do they blend together 
making sure there's no patchiness or that it does adhere to the eye. Um, I wanted to know about the formulation. What do they perform and how they perform? As far as the individual colors, if I have to be completely honest, like I said earlier, there are some definite hits in this. However, I do also feel like in a good Morphe palette, you might also come across these colors. That's just my opinion. I just feel like there was nothing necessarily so <gasps> eye-catching, especially when you just see swatches online that would make you run out and get this palette. But if you come across it in person, it will entice you to pick up the palette. Uh, right off the back, I can tell you my favorite color in this palette is definitely the one on my lid, and it is colored right here in bronze. This is such a unique color. I just think it's freaking gorgeous. It's a gold, but it I don't even think properly that the camera is going to really pick up exactly what it's doing. It's bronze with like a cranberry undertone, and it's, it has... A little bit of glitter in it so it just really is a gorgeous color all by itself it may oh my god it's so pigmented it is just such a beautiful it is stunning I did it I shouldn't have did it did you just see what I did oh I could totally wear that as a highlight it's definitely a color you can wear as a highlight for a uh, darker skin because it is gorgeous the other colors in here are really nice i feel like mulberry is a gorgeous color that you can wear all by yourself on the lid compact it on the lid and then use a nice uh soft blending brush up into the crease to diffuse the color i'm looking forward to using that all by itself something that i do believe that you could touch every day because it's very neutral colors down there you got very soft colors here you have your warm colors and you have of course that uh, those last two colors that can definitely transition into night however they definitely worked well together so ne my next question that I feel like you guys are gonna ask is which one would I recommend me personally out of the two this is definitely talking to me more just because I love the warm I love berries, but I don't love them that much on an everyday basis. I am definitely more of an orange, rustic um, girl. Putting oranges in my creases is definitely more important to me. And I feel like that burnt orange, that sienna, and that orange soda kind of pulls this one more in my direction than the Modern Renaissance palette. Do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend this one for anyone who... Like I said, love more of an orange undertone, but still has those berries that they can pull out. I personally feel like that bronze is just a beautiful color. Really, really like that a lot. And um, I feel like this is the palette that if you are going to spend your money and you want to get a higher end palette, because this is not cheap. How much is this? Let me find out. I didn't even find out. I need to find out. This palette is $42. So it's not a cheap palette and do I feel like it's, this is something if you're really into Anastasia formula that you will like this. Personally, do I feel like it's 100% worth it? Only if it draws you in. But for the everyday, probably new person into makeup, probably not. I still feel like maybe you can get a Morphe palette and really kind of get that same finish um you probably won't have that same formula and you probably won't have that same quality if i had to be completely honest but you can get a, a morphe palette with more colors that still works still blendable and much cheaper than this one i like it and i'm glad that i have it and i will use it again but if i had to be completely honest one day next week when I get up to go do my makeup, I don't know if I'm going to reach for this or one of my Morphe palettes. And if I had to be honest, I think I would probably reach for my Morphe palette. There's not a color in here that I cannot use. And that, for a dark-skinned woman, usually it kind of tears me away from a lot of palettes because it's like, okay, that, that shadow is not going to pick up. That shadow is not going to pick up. That shadow is not going to pick up. Do I recommend it? Yes, 
but it's not a must have. You don't have to rush out the house. You ain't got to like skip one dinner tonight to pick up this palette. So guys, that is my review on the Soft Glam Anastasia palette. Um, I'm really getting into more of her stuff. So, you know, let's just keep, keep, keep your eye out because I definitely will be dipping and dabbling a little bit more into her brand. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You want to go absolutely everywhere and follow me at Shalinda1. Definitely Instagram and Twitter. That's probably where you can find me the most at right now. I'm really trying to get more into my social media. So you guys have been asking like more of a presence on social media. So I'm going to do my very best to bring that to you guys. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching this video. Guys, please remember you are both you are beautiful but most importantly you're blessed and every day that you're able to wake up and every day that you're able to click on your internet and every day you're able to put some food to your mouth and every day you wake up with a roof over your head I don't care what other problems you're having please recognize that in that moment you are very blessed I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video bye guys